What is up guys? Gonna be doing something really cool today. I'm here with Woodward and the kayaks. As you can see, they are loaded up with gear. We're gonna be heading offshore over three miles to camp out on an island. We're gonna be doing some fishing too. We're hopefully gonna catch some big, big fish out there. We're gonna be fishing some really deep water, some open water, stuff I'm totally not used to doing, but we've had some advice from some locals. We're gonna do our best and hopefully catch some awesome fish out there. All right guys, so an hour and a half of paddling later, we finally made it to the island. As you can see, we've got this awesome secluded campsite here. We brought all that stuff with us in the kayaks. It was quite a haul, but we're finally here. And it's pretty exciting because we actually saw some lake trout in the shallow water on the way in. Apparently they're spawning, so lake trout that you normally find really deep are in that like 30 to 15 foot depth range. So we might even be able to sight fish for them, which is super exciting. We didn't really pack much food, so we're really hoping to do a catch and cook tonight. If we could catch a couple trout to cook over the fire here, that would just be a dream come true. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and get on the water, hopefully catch one. Well guys, we didn't get a single bite fishing the bay today, which is very unfortunate considering we barely brought any food. So we're gonna be hungry tomorrow and hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. Today was rough, but tomorrow we're gonna try a little harder, try some different spots and hopefully finally find these lake trout. All right guys, so we just woke up and unfortunately the wind has kicked up a lot. It's in a really bad direction too. It's blowing us away from where we need to be. So we're gonna head back towards shore just to stay safe so it doesn't get any worse. Make sure we can get back off this island. We're gonna fish a little bit along the way and probably fish some more in the mainland. So definitely gonna catch some fish, but we gotta get out of here just to be safe. All right guys, finally caught a fish. Nice smallie here, about a two and a half pounder. Gonna get a release on it real quick. Well guys, we came out here on the bay planning the fish for Lakers, but when you see a smallie on a bed after catching nothing for so many hours of paddling, always gonna cast on it. It's always fun to catch smallies on beds. So cool to see that fish react. All I did was throw in this white tube here, took a couple casts, but he came out and smacked it. Yo! Yeah. Is that even recording? Oh no. Little Smalley, now we're in trouble.
There we go. Nice one. Super dark one. And he gone. A bass. And another smallie on the day. That's nice worm. Yes. But I got a big walleye. Big walleye. Dude, I wasn't recording. Still, we're gonna record the catching cook on this bad boy. <laughs> Look at him. Wait, he's not fighting that hard. I just, where's a good place to slide him in? Oh my god. Let me show him. Now grab him, grab him, grab him. Dude, grab him. Do not grab the line. Guys, threw on the same rig we used in the Maumee. Decided to try out here in Michigan, and holy crap. Bit that plastic. This is gonna be a catching cook, no doubt about that. That is some beautiful Lake Michigan walleye meat there. All right guys, we've been out for a long time grinding on the smallmouth. Then we saw these guys swimming around at the bottom, so I switched up to the Maumee River walleye run rig, Carolina rig. About two hours later, finally got this fish. Next thing you're gonna see is us cooking this thing up. Alright guys, we found a nice quiet spot in the north woods, got a little fire going, scale on there with some butter, and the walleye pieces with the breading. This is going to be so delicious. First bite of the walleye. It's got to be good, oh right? Oh my god. <laughs> really good. This is what's coming up for me. Those are some thick chunks of fish. All right, guys, it's my turn. Check out this meat. Pure white chunky meat. It's actually really hot. That is the best fish. Fresh Lake Michigan walleye fried over a campfire. You cannot beat it. All right, guys, got the best part of the walleye right here. Fried walleye cheek. Never want to forget the cheek. It's really, really good. Ooh. Amazing white meat in there. It's so sweet and perfect. Wow. All right, guys, wrapping up a pretty crazy adventure today. It was a really awesome trip, even though we didn't catch what we wanted to. The plans that we had to fish didn't really work out, but we still caught some cool fish. We just had an amazing catch and cook here at this little fire. So we're actually going to try and catch some trout on the fly right now. It's a total huge question mark. The rivers are kind of high, so the video might be ending right now. If it is, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. If not, we'll show you guys some dry fly trout footage, but that's just a big question mark. Things have not been going well for us this trip as far as fish catching is concerned, so I'm not too optimistic, but we're gonna give it a shot.